Alright, so what's going on guys? It's your boy Johnny here back with another video on the channel. And this is going to be a re-upload. I wanted to completely redo this video because I didn't want to put it out there and not... And it, like there's some big huge things I forgot to mention when you do complete the all the missions in uh with the new diamond cas uh, casino and resort so i want to talk about what else let me go back and try to rem remember what i talked about in my last video about the missions basically what i was saying is the missions and everything are really fun and uh i would just wanted to break them down a little bit and like describe you guys like how I, my thoughts how, how i feel about the missions overall the final mission and what could have been like you know like if it was like more missions and stuff like that and uh, also, like I said, the rewards that you guys can get, I'm going to tell you guys what the rewards are when you guys complete every single mission that comes with the new DLC. But let me know in the comments, out of a scale 1 to 10, what do you guys rate this DLC? Honestly, I give it a 10 out of a 10 for just like the, just for everything, dude, like the casino, the resort, the cars, like everything, the theme. It's like the high life or whatever the improvements that they made to it, dude. Like it's so freaking the like everything, every little thing they did, the details. I, I should have made a video on that, like the the new things they added, new features. I, pro I most likely will tomorrow. Like new features that everyone probably. Uh, th there's so many that you can't keep up with them. Like the rocks are added, and um yeah, I don't know. The rock hats off the Rockstar for making such a, an amazing update. Like this is by far my favorite DLC like ever. And before, obviously, it was probably like heist or something like that, you know. But this is by far got to be the most luxurious, best supercars, best you name it. Uh, you know, it's pretty much like we got our own mansion in a casino. It's like basically the size of a mansion. It's like one level, but, but you know what I'm saying? Everyone wanted mansions. Well, we basically got one now once you buy all the add-ons. But I want to talk about the missions and the reward you guys receive when you guys complete the missions. So every mission, you guys get a little bit of money and XP, of course. But they are a lot of fun. They're, they're, when you put it on hard, dude, these missions are actually really difficult. They kind of remind me of like a mixture of like heist and like um, import-export. It's got the import-export music that plays, which is a little strange. But the DLC missions, dude, are insane. They're really fun. The storyline is amazing. It seems like it could have been single player. I'm pretty sure Fun 2 confirmed it was single player and it got scratched off and it was made to online. So, yeah, I mean, hats off the Rockstar for making these freaking missions, dude, like really good. And uh, it just sometimes, like, at, at first this morning, I was having a lot of trouble. Even I don't even think they're working for anyone on stream earlier. I couldn't even access the missions. Then they finally started working. And, yeah, I mean... I have no complaints really. I mean, just queuing up like certain people, obviously, because you gotta rely on other people. You gotta have two people or more. And dude, like like I said, the missions are amazing and all that. So what you guys are gonna get when you complete every single one? There's five missions, and I gotta say, dude, the one before the last one, it, it when you like are on top of the casino and you like have to defend it, it's got to be my favorite one. I just want to throw that out there because it's a really fun, my out of all five, that's my favorite. Now this last mission is when. You, the dude, the uncle, his nephew basically turns on him, he sells him out, tells us, everyone at the casino, where he's at, so we go and kill him, and his nephew wants to buy the casino, basically take over, and he's trying to be the good guy, trying to be on our side, and betrays his uncle, so we, we go, and then the uncle is this Texan, the Texan dude, or whatever, tries to like, threaten Mr. Chang, and say he wants to take over the casino and all that, so basically we go, track him down, and shoot all his security guards and all that. It's actually at uh, Martin Madrazo's house, which is pretty strange. And then he takes off in a helicopter, and then we you gotta destroy the helicopter, then you go back to the casino, and then you meet up with the dude's nephew, the, uh, his uncle that he had, you gotta set up and get kill. Um, because he's gonna kill, you know, like everyone at the casino and like take it over anyway, so. And so we kill him, and then that's basically the story. And then he take the, the the nephew takes over the casino. He, you work for him now. The casino stays the same. Everything runs the same, and all that. And then you guys will receive the weaponized and armored uh, versions of the NS uh, Paragon R, and also five hundred thousand dollars, guys. So you'll see it go into your account as soon as the mission it ends. You'll see it'll go right into your account. So yeah, um, that's like I said, the art, the weaponized is gonna be like basically like a, basically like a machine gun on your car, kind of like the Ardent. If you guys remember that it came with gun running, I'm pretty sure. And you get the armored uh, plate platings on the side for it. So it's only because that's the only armored weaponized type vehicle we have in this whole update. So once you complete that, that's when you unlock basically the only weaponized vehicle we're gonna get throughout this whole entire DLC, and that's on the Bentley car. If you guys uh, don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, and also I'm sorry about the gameplay. It's a little laggy. My settings were, were way too high, and I haven't. I'm running on two hours sleeps, 
and uh, I, I feel like crap, and I didn't know my gameplay it was kind of laggy, so I really apologize about that. It'll be fixed, obviously, by the next video, next time I'm recording and stuff like that. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I just want I had to re-upload this completely because I didn't want to just like throw out a video and be like, oh yeah, um, you know, you complete this and nothing happens. So I just want to let you guys know there are some really cool things you guys can get, such as armor plating, the weapon, uh, the weapon part for the for the Bentley, and then you get five hundred thousand dollars as well, which is a pretty good chunk of change. And uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed, and let me know in the comments how how what do you rate this DLC? Do you guys like it overall? Let me know your the best your best. The, what is the best feature to you guys? Is it the resort, the casino, or just everything in general? To me, it's everything in general. And uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. Make sure you guys subscribe for more notifications on, and I'll catch you guys next one. Super drama. Have a good one, and I'm out. Peace. Stop.